Hey everybody, welcome back to GearWire.com. I'm Bill Holland. I'm here at Northeastern University with uh, Dan, and Dan's hosting a circuit bending workshop here in the basement of WZRD 88.3. And so we have this toy you've been working on throughout the duration of my being here, and um, we've just come across something interesting with it. You've bent it, you've got all these buttons and switches on it, but something's happened with the graphic display that you didn't expect to see. So what's, what's going on here? Uh, well, really, um, it was... Originally, just kind of showing like little pictures and sing-alongs. This is like a spelling toy, so it would put the letters and stuff up on there. Um, but you know, ex of course, the whole time when you're working on something and you're bending it, you're not really looking at it too much. You're looking at the board. So uh, I had to, you know, unscrew the board to take it out a little bit. And there's the LED on the other side is not actually wired in at all. It's like just kind of on contacted yeah. to the the board itself. And uh, for some reason now, when I've got it back on there, uh, the actual pictures aren't on there anymore. It's just a lot of really interesting wave patterns and lights. I I'm hoping to find a way that I can hook it up for projection, but uh, not really sure, seeing as how the LED itself is not wired to the, the board. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, we're ready to check it out if you'd like. Oh yeah, of course. Okay, so you've got. <laughs> so that's a great sound, um, and it looks like now normally this would all be, this would be responding to these. You'll notice right now it's on spelling. Yeah, each one of these settings it kind of changes it up a little bit. What's interesting too is like the very bottom row kind of a uh, all the all the pictures are still completely chaotic on there That's really cool. I mean, you, and you didn't see that coming at all. You didn't. Just, the, it looked like it looked. What I saw from the back, it looked like the circuit board wasn't connected to the rest of the toy. Yeah, the circuit board is really like just kind of sitting in there, basically. Um, yeah, all these things are just. I mean, I wish that I uh, had a better understanding of the electronics, but in a way, it just keeps it that much more intriguing. Like the way we're experimenting with this stuff all the time, and new stuff is shooting up, like. You know, the whole uh, the LED on there. I just could not believe what I got out of that. Um, and the rest of this stuff, it's just, you know, trial and error. You know, we're searching around. I know always the first time when I go in and I open a board up, you know, I lick my fingers and I touch it and I try to find where my time bend is. So that usually you can find a master point. Uh, one point will be your master. And when you touch the other side, you'll get uh, completely fast. Um, it'll speed everything up. And the other point connected to the master is going to slow it all down. That's usually your first essential bend you want to do. Everything else after that can be manipulated by that. Like, just like you heard that really loud drone sound that I had and kind of more of like a wavery tone also. It's all just gets affected by that. And there is like a wealth of other things that I could find on this also. It's always a start. I mean, Chris is working on right now uh, a speak and learn or is that speak and spell? Speak and math, actually. Speak and math. Speak and math. Those things, I mean, if you look online and you find some people have bent them, there'll be like 20-something switches on there, a couple potentiometers. Uh, one of my friends that did one where he actually has a whole outside box that he runs it out to that has a ton of different switches and buttons and potenti like three different potentiometers on there controlling it. So there, there's literally like endless possibilities with a lot of these toys. Cool, and that's uh, really interesting that we had a problem that you didn't even see coming. So thanks for talking to us about that, and uh, we're going to talk to you next on GearWire.com.